Check uh, on the meme stocks, which saw uh, renewed uh, retail interest last week. Joining us now is Jeff Mills, Chief Investment Officer at Winmar Trust and a C uh, CNBC contributor. Uh, Jeff, was there a reason that, that you can point to definitively for the moves we saw last week? I, I got, I don't know, people yelled at me on Twitter for saying that when things get slow or boring, they, the meme stocks take off, but they all, they talk about, I don't know, short interest or uh, they always have a rationale. Is there always a rationale for movements on these meme stocks? I don't know that there always is, to be honest, Joe. I think it, it's hard to tell whether up or down why these stocks are moving on any particular day. But I, I do think what is clear, and we talked about this on Fast Money last week, we were looking at some of the options market data. We took a top stock like AMC, for example, two and a half times the call volume versus put volume. And based on the size of the option contracts, I think it's pretty clear that retail investors are still involved and they're still betting on these stocks going higher. So th that might be the most important part, just to understand kind of what's going on here. Uh, but I do think as you start to see some of these new names come into the picture, capital starts to get spread out a little bit. So you, you go outside of these core meme names like AMC, GameStop, that clearly have a following and people aren't going anywhere. It becomes very difficult to make these stocks levitate for more than a couple of days or a week just because the bets start to get spread out. Yeah, I like that. So it's people were buying calls. So that's why they, they were higher. It's, OK, so why were the people buying calls? Or just back to square one. <laughs> that doesn't really explain it. Uh, the, the underlying. Yeah, round restaurant. and round we go. Yeah, round and round we go. Well, all right. So can you give me the next one that, that hasn't moved yet? Next two. You know what? That, that's part of the problem, and I can't. And that's why I feel like once these stocks fall into this bucket, uh, they become uninvestable, quite honestly. You get a 50 percent move up, 50 percent move down, uh, and it's hard to really know why. And I'll just go back to AMC, kind of an old faithful as an example. But you're talking about a stock that had a market cap of under a billion dollars in 2019. Right. Now you're right. talking about a market cap of something around $20 billion. This is not going to get back to 2019 sales yep, until 2024. Right. So think about that in terms of fundamentals. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.